Hi, it's Bobby from Horse Tender Studio. Got a little bit of crazy hair going on today. Um, I want to open this vlog with a bit of an apology. Um, this vlog is late, so I'm sorry about that. I've been trying to do them on Sunday or Monday. Um, it's Wednesday over here in Japan, probably be Wednesday uh, or later when you get to see this. But um, also another thing that I have to apologize for is the Clydesdale mare project that I've been showing off, I think, in almost every one of these videos. Um, I finished her and she's gone, <laughs> uh, which is awesome. But the reason I feel like I need to apologize is because it didn't really even occur to me to get a video of her. So I'm sorry for those of you that have kind of been following along and maybe hoping to see her on here when she was done. Uh, she's gone. Um, <laughs> I got into a bit of a slump a um, couple days before the deadline. I got really scared to paint her. Um, so I took a couple of days off and then I kind of just really had to push myself in the home stretch the last day and a half to get her uh, painted and sealed and get her ribbons put on and get pictures of her and get her boxed up and out um, in the mail of uh, the last day the, on the deadline. So um, yeah, typical me, but uh, she, I wrote up a whole uh, blog post about her creation from start to finish. So you can go check that out if you want. I'll, I'll put the link down in the description below. Um, she turned out pretty nice. Uh, I have to confess I wasn't completely happy with how she came out. Um, I did have to kind of rush things towards the end as far as prepping, so she did have some rough spots. Um, and then also her paint job didn't come out as detailed as I wanted it to. I wanted her to be a really dark dappled bay with lots of shading and dapples and everything, and I just ran out of time. So she she ended up being kind of a, you know, a rich bay, and she had some shading, but not quite the you know, mind-blowing uh, work I had hoped for. <laughs> but all in all, I think doing that amount of work in six weeks and getting her done is, is a huge accomplishment, so I'm, I'm happy with that. And I did learn a lot in uh, doing what I did with her color, and I'm really looking forward to, to doing that color on some other models, hopefully soon. Um, it was a, a custom color mix that I ended up going with, and I think it shows a lot of potential, uh, and I'm looking forward to actually doing the paint job I had in mind for her on, on a different horse, hopefully soon. Um, in other news, not so happy um, if you followed uh, my blog or our uh, Facebook. Um, you might have seen me talk about Max, our puppy dog. Um, he's a 14-year-old Newfoundland mix. Uh, back in October, we had a scare with him. Basically, we found out that he's full of tumors inside and one of them had burst. At the time, the vet only gave us a day or two more with him. We're now, I think, four, I guess, four months past that and he's still with us. He's still going. But the last week has been, has been rough and we've made the decision that it's about time to, to let him go. Um, we think we're going to do that maybe early next week. Um... And it's hard. It's, it's really hard at the end of the day. Um, he's not going to get any better. Um, he's only going to get worse. And his eyesight is failing rapidly. Um, he's already lost us in the house and he, he gets really upset if he doesn't know where we are. Um, his hearing is, seems like it's going downhill faster. Uh, and he's just having a lot more trouble getting around and, and going to the bathroom and just doing basic things. And so it kind of comes down to, you know, quality of life. I mean, he's still happy. He's still chewing on bones and, uh, you know, but we, we just don't want to wait until he, you know, until he's completely blind and he's scared because he doesn't know where we are and he can't even get around. So, uh, it's time. But, uh, so I've been, uh, in, in a rut as far as that goes. Um, I, as soon as I got done with the Clydesdale Mare project, I, I kind of decided to decompress for a few days and then uh, stuff with Max started going downhill and so I'm still kind of in a rut, but I'm, I'm working on coming out of it. Uh, 
I guess the good news now that the Clydesdale mare, um, I named her Rexy, and the whole story is in my blog if you want to check that out, but now that Rexy's done and gone, uh, I can get to work. I would say back to work, but honestly, I haven't really even done anything yet on Chewy, uh, my Namal Paimo horse. Um, he, I did actually just kind of barely start his prep a bit ago. Um, he's got some minor little things that need to be filled. Um, little pin some little pinholes and things like that so um hopefully i'm gonna work on his prep in the next couple of days and um maybe start getting some paint on him this weekend um let's see what else is coming up oh um i've got a donation that i'm going to be sending in to a certain show um, that's coming up in a couple of months. Those are the only clues you get right now. And I'll show you, I made some saddle stands, kind of like the sea green and the light blue color, which go with the shows, some of the shows color themes. And on the front side, I have engraved the show logo, but I'm gonna let that be a surprise. I'm sure uh, it'll pop up on the show website or Facebook page, so you can see it there. Um, I kind of want to surprise the the show holder with it, so I don't I don't want to put it up here just in case she might see it. Um, <laughs> anyway, um, let's see. Oh, next week um, there's an event here that's for people to kind of get together and share their interests, um, the organizations that they're a part of, or hobbies, or games, or anything that they want to share with the local community. And I'd heard about it last year, was the first one, and it actually took place, I think, when we were in the States. Um, it's just the dates didn't quite line up, and I had thought that it would be really fun to do some sort of model horse um, setup. Just talk about the model horse hobby and, and kind of get some awareness about it. Um, I had joked before coming over here to Japan that maybe I would try to start up the model horse hobby in Japan or something, but um, haven't quite been that ambitious. But I think that this will be a, a neat opportunity to just kind of set up some things. And so I've been trying to put some thought into what I want to have out on my table. Um, I'm probably going to put out like some OF horses, artist resins, customs, just to kind of show people those different aspects. And then some of the like tack and props that I made, um, I thought that I might get, if I get really ambitious, I might try to finally finish my um, Rio Rondo saddle that I started years ago um, so that I can show people, hey, look, there's little saddles and stuff too. Um, I might take my laptop and kind of set up like, like maybe a slideshow of pictures or just have um, some websites up that I could show people if they want more information. And then I'm trying to think of like handouts I could give, like flyers or little cards that kind of talk about the model horse hobby, maybe have some links on them to some good sites. So um, if you have any ideas about that, just um, let me know. The event is the 27th, I believe. So I'm going to be putting that together over the next week as well. Um, and that should be fun. And then the last thing that I want to share is, um, you know, with the with Max and everything else that's been going on, just kind of been feeling in a, in a slump and and having trouble getting going again. And today I got a big surprise in the mail. Um, I had no idea this was coming. Um, you may have heard me talk about the Model Horse Blab Forum and uh, I'm not as active on there as I have been in the past. Um, it kind of comes and goes. But uh, there's a great thing on there that I try to um, participate in and it's my favorite thing about the forum, really, and it's called PIF, or P-I-F, which is Pay It Forward. And so how it works is there's a couple of threads on one of the forums there, and in one of them you post your uh, wish list, you know, if there's anything that you're looking for, model horse related or otherwise, and then people can go through the wish lists, and if they see something that they have that, you know, they'd be willing to send someone or, or you know, just want to cheer somebody up or whatever, then they can to send it to them. And uh, then there's another thread that's like, I've been piffed and you're supposed to post pictures of what you got and everybody. It's just a really positive, uplifting thing. I've sent out a bunch of piffs and I've gotten several and it's just a, a great thing, especially when it comes unexpected and especially when it comes when things are rough, like 
right now. So this box came in the mail. Um, my husband brought it home on his lunch break from the post office and I had no idea what it was. I, I didn't order anything, you know, what's, what's going on. And um, <laughs> so it was from uh, Shannon on the forum. And uh, hi Shannon, she's probably gonna watch this. So she, uh, the first thing that was in it, which I thought was just adorable, was this little tiny card. It's like a little card, but it's so small and cute. And inside it says, I appreciate your friendship. And she says, I hope you and Jeff are well. Happy Piff during this crazy Namo Pimo month. Uh, keep creating, vlogging, and vlogging. Um, so that's just awesome. That's, I mean, just even that card alone was like the, the uplift that I needed. But she didn't stop there. Um, she sent me a box full of awesomeness. Um, I'll just real quick try to show, share a few things. She sent me a few little cross stitch kits, like a Christmas and a Halloween theme. And then let's see, she sent me a little puppy dog ornament, little black lab. She sent me some duct tape, washi tape, which I didn't even know was a thing. Um, I said in my, one of my wish lists, I said I can always use the colored duct tape. And uh, so she sent me some different colors of duct tape, washi tape. So I'm gonna have to find some fun things to make with that. Uh, what else is in here? Oh, she sent me some little like tack making supplies, uh, like little metal parts and jewelry findings and all kinds of bits and bobs and crimp rings, some rhinestones, um, some cord, round cord. And then some little like chain and buckles and slotted halter rings, probably from Rio Rondo. It looks like Rio Rondo. Oh, they're actually the, um... ooh, the buckles are fancy. I just saw that. They're like the um, etched decorator or whatever. I can't talk right now. <laughs> uh, some twine. And then one of my favorite things was this ribbon that she sent. And I don't know if you'll be able to see the colors but it's like a multicolored ribbon and it's just the prettiest um, texture and has like a shine to it. And so that's just gorgeous. I'm definitely gonna make something out of that. And then, let's see, some fabric, like velvet fabric, just gorgeous. There's green, like a deep green and red and purple, just gorgeous. So those are, those are really pretty. I'm definitely going to have to think of something to make with them. And then she sent me a package of 18 count cross stitch fabric, which is awesome. I can always use that. As a matter of fact, I sent her a note to thank her so much for all this stuff. And I told her that I had to laugh when I saw that because I just ordered some last night. I was running out and I was like, I better get some more of that in. So now I have even more. So, oh, and I almost forgot. I have her out because she's special. I unwrapped this little girl who's a little custom in progress. She's the G1 Arabian hair, Arabian mare, um, head and neck, and I think she's on a different body. I can't quite tell, but, and then she's got a really pretty sculpted tail and mane. And she's unfinished. She's got a couple broken legs. This one's missing on this side. This one's pinned in. And then this one looks like it was missing and started to get sculpted. And I don't know if, if she's the one that did the work. I asked her, but um, I haven't heard back yet because uh, of the time change and all that. But uh, I think she's really cool. And it was kind of funny. When I first opened her, I gave her a little pat on the nose and said, Hi, sweetheart. <laughs> so um, we'll get her fixed up. I think whoever started work on her did a, a good job. I love her tail. And uh, there's some nice sculpting on her body and everything already, too. So that was a, a really unexpected surprise. And uh, she'll fit right in here. So I guess that's all I've got to share for this edition. And uh, as always, I hope everyone's doing well. Um, and feel free to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, I'm always, uh, as always, I'm always <laughs> um, open to hear suggestions for future videos, anything that you'd like to hear me ramble on about or would like to see. Um, springtime is just around the corner, so I'm looking forward to doing some out and about videos. Um, 
I'd love to show you guys like the the sakura, the cherry blossoms, and uh, different festivals and things that go on once spring and summer come around. So something to look forward to. But anyway, I'll get off here for now. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.